Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing creating our calculator. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you may want to move back a couple, tu couple tutorials and catch up to what we're doing. Now you can see here that we added the two numbers, num1 and num2, by using our add function that we created. And we just converted the text from those text boxes to a double. Now what we want to do is we want to put answer in the answer box. So we're going to do this by typing text answer dot text equals answer and then we'll just leave it like that. We're not going to convert it to a string because we may use that answer later on. So let's go ahead and run our program and see what happens. So we got first number so 23, second number 45, and when we add them, we get 68. Now, what if the user forgot to enter a value in for one of the boxes? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to enclose all of this in an if statement. So we're going to go ahead and type if text num one dot text dot length equals zero or does not equal zero and text num two dot uh, dot text dot length does not equal zero either then go ahead and do this so we'll just add an end if right here and we're gonna we're gonna add an else statement so else and so if one of the boxes is empty if the length does equal zero on one of the boxes then we're going to go ahead and type message box dot show please fill all fields and then we'll just set the title to error and we'll type message box buttons dot ok and we will set the icon just to a warning because an error didn't really happen so message box icon message box icons dot warning okay message box icon dot warning not icons and now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens if they leave a field empty so Here's the first number, so if we type this in, we click add, it says please fill all fields. And you can see it gives them the warning icon. And then if we fill this with something and click add, it will give us an answer. Let's go ahead and close this out. Now, what if the user wants to conti continue adding numbers to the answer? So what we're going to do is after we set text answer dot text equal to answer, we will just type text num two dot read only equals true. So what this does is we can access the properties of text num one while we're programming and change them on the fly. So it sets read only equal to true. Now if we run this you can see that if we type some numbers in here and click add, it'll set this one equal to read only. Now we need to do text text num2 not text num1 so let's just do that one more time so you can see that it sets it to read only and we can't do anything to it so before we set it to read only we're gonna have to clear it so text num2 dot clear so this will let them keep adding numbers to the answer and what we need to do because we're allowing them to do this we need to add a clear button so we'll just come over here to our toolbox. We'll add a button down here. And we will set the name to button clear. So we'll come up here and change it to button clear. And then we will set the text to clear. Now if we go ahead and double, double click on this, it opens up the event for this 
and what we want to do is when they click clear then we'll just set text num two dot read only equals false so that they can read from it and we'll just clear each one of those text boxes alright let's just do text answer dot clear and text num two dot clear so now if we run this you can see we have first number and second number and if we type some values in and add them you can see that it gives us the option to press clear and when we do it resets it now let's come up here and instead of setting this instead of clearing text sum 2 we'll just leave it to set the same to see what they added but it will not continually um, add numbers to the it, will, it won't continually add first number and second numbers to the answer now we'll be covering this in the next tutorial so um, look at this code you can modify it if you want play around with it test see what you can do with it and uh, once you know what it does go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching